Hello, welcome to Blame It on the Draw. Today I'm gonna give you a deck profile on... My friend is gonna be giving you a deck profile on Cyber Dragons. And the first things first of us for Cyber Dragons, we gotta go first with the three Cyber Dragon. Of course, Cyber Dragon is your enabler. He's gonna be a free summon. He's gonna be the one who's gonna be making all the plays that you need to do. And Cyber Dragons is the one you do all the combos. And believe me, you can do a lot of combos with just a normal card that just special summons from the hand. And he's a level five, so that's a great bonus. Uh, next up, we're gonna go with Cyber Dragon Hertz. Hertz is basically uh, changed his name to Cyber Dragon. All Cyber Dragon monsters basically change your name to a Cyber Dragon. And uh, yeah, you can when this card is in the great sense of graveyard, you can add another Cyber Dragon back to your hand. And another effect that it has, I think it has another effect, but I don't remember exactly what it is. But you can check it out below. I'm gonna leave it uh, in a photo. Uh, next one is Cor Cyber Dragon Core. Cyber Dragon Core is normal summon. You can search for a Cyber Dragon monster directly from your deck to your hand. And whenever he's in the graveyard, you can banish it to I think it's a special summon, uh, a special summon Cyber Dragon, or just add a Cyber Dragon to your hand. Not too sure. Correct me if I'm wrong, but yeah, that's uh, basically what I uh, think it did what it does. Uh, next up is uh, two. Uh, Cyber Pharaohs. Pharaohs that can special summon itself by tributing and that's really good when you use it for Hertz and you can also use it to fusion summon itself and you can also search for Power Bond and this is one of those cards that have like multi-use and it's really good. Um, yeah, you should run two, only two of those. Three of them and there's too much three of them. Uh, this is your, these are your butt savers. Uh, of course, Cyber Dragon uh, Dre and Cyber Dragon Veer. Veer is basically the one that's going to be uh, special summoning itself. Uh, and, and you become Cyber Dragon itself, and then uh, the other one when it's normal summon and activates its effects and makes it all Cyber Dragon who currently control become level 5 and you cannot do the so they can all change itself to levels and you can use it for uh, XYZ summon. The, the other one will be Cyber Dragon Eltonin, 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 Elton, make I wouldn't know. <laughs> and basically sends everything to the grave to special summon itself and then banishes Cyber Dragons to actually summon itself. Then it says three Galaxy Soldiers and one whatever the hell kaiju mechanical thing. The Galaxy Soldier is your search where you can key off with the Galaxy Soldiers and your kaiju of course you just dis use tribute one and you can just take it out of the game and just destroy uh, just destroy the kaiju so you can OTK your opponent by just destroying it. And you can use the kaiju for Chimera Fleet as well. I mean you can just you know fusion, uh, contact fusion with that one. But uh, Galaxy Soldier is going to be your enabler since it's a level 5 and it's a free special summon and a searcher so you can search for another Galaxy Soldier and continue on your play so you can get a Cyber Dragon Infinity. But, uh, yeah, uh, that's pretty much it for these. And, of course, the Kaiju. Uh, the Kaiju's effect by, by basically, you just use it with tributing. Even if it has a 3,000 beater, it's still weak compared to the rest of the Cyber Dragons are going to be doing. Next up, we have three Cyber Emergency. Of course, two of them are actually uh, proxies. I'm truly sorry about that. And Cyber Emergency, uh, its effect is basically you can search another Cyber... Uh, cyber um, dragon uh, or a light monster or something like that so directly to your hand and uh, yeah you can combo off with that one this is going to be your butt saver completely uh, this is something that's pretty much staple as it is and um, you know uh, you can add one light machine monster that cannot be normal summon or set but it's a cyber dragon monster from your deck to your hand next up we have uh, two cyber replayer plant of course, if Cyber Cyber Dragons uh, is in your graveyard, you can activate the, these effects if the three or more Cyber Dragons are in your graveyard. The activation, you can activate both of the effects and resolve them in the sequence. Uh, you can activate one of these per turn and add one Light Machine Monster from your deck to your hand, or target one of the Machine Monster uh, in your graveyard and shuffle that target into your deck. Next up, you have Cyber World Fusion. Cyber World Fusion, of course, you fusion someone with this one directly from your field or banish them to actually get the fusion materials and return them back into the deck. And uh, you can uh, fusion summon. This is a uh, quick fusion, so this is pretty good uh, when your opponent tries to uh, do anything like a, a negation or so on. So it's pretty hard now with the speed too. And next up, you have Cyber Dragon Rev, Rev, Rev System. Basically, is your monster born only for your own graveyard, and you can special summon a Cyber Dragon directly from your graveyard or hand to the field, and it will have pr full protection. You only run. We only. He only runs two of them. Since uh, obviously it's very better, and then two power bond. Thanks to power bond not being limited, you can actually run two of these. But this is the limit. You don't want to go three of them. Uh, I've seen my friend get, uh, complaining about this. Uh, having three is too much, and having only just one is just terrible. And just one overload fusion, of course, overload fusion. The only problem with this is that you fusion for a dark monster, and there's a few uh, cyber dragon monsters that aren't dark. So uh, this is basically all you got to do is uh, I think is you can get Chimera Fleet uh, Rampage Dragon in there, and that's about it. And uh, next up for the spells you have, Limiter Remover. Limiter Remover, of course, everyone knows this card. You remove the limit of the attack, and you actually double the attack. Uh, and at the end, you get destroyed, but eh, that's, 
that's nothing. But then you have your machine duplication. Machine duplication is the dopest card of all. You select one machine card with an attack of 500 or less, and you can duplicate the card's name and basically summon two uh, two more of the of the same cards. Oh, I think it's up to three. I don't, I'm not remember. But you can special summon the Cyber Dragon, so you can just target Cyber Dragon. You special summon two more Cyber Dragons directly from your deck, and you can use this for XYZ summon, which is just ridiculous. And at the same time, that's amazing. Next up for your staples, you got Rageki. You got one Twin Twister, of course, Rageki, clear out the board, Twin Twister, clear out the back row. Monster Reborn, Japanese version, best artwork there is, and you know, Monster Reborn, special summon one monster during and, and either player's graveyard. Uh, Cybernetic Overflow, Cybernetic Overflow is your turn one trap that you will actually need just in case you start. Uh, you can banish one Cyber Dragon with different levels, and from your hand of field or graveyard, then destroy the equal number of cards your opponent controls. If this card was in the field, destroy by your opponent's card and add one card uh, Cyber Dragon spell and track from your deck directly to your hand. And you can only use one cybernetic foe. So basically when he destroys it, you can add one cyber dragon, uh, one cyber uh, spell or trap. And then if it's not your turn, you can actually banish cyber dragons to actually destroy cards on his field. So this is basically your your, your helper 100%. You don't want to run more than one of these because this is basically going to be the, one of those cards that's going to be uh, stopping you many of the times. And you don't have enough uh, materials to banish. You don't want to banish too many of the cyber dragons anyways because the only way you can return them back right now is basically cybernetic uh, fe cy cy cyber fe cyber fe I cy you know, it's really hard to say cybers and cyber and cybernetic and cyber so what the hell? So it's cyber fusion, cyber cyber dragon fusion. And you have your staple of the traps of salt and warning. Of course, you negate the summon of anything, but just paying two thousand life points, and that's about it. And next up, we're gonna go to the extra deck, and we're gonna go first of all uh, one of the most important ones that you're gonna need. And you only run only two of these: is cyber dragon seeger. Seeger is the one that's gonna be boosting the attacks of all your cyber dragons this is going to be the one that's going to be enabling all your otks ftks all whatever you want to call it this car right here is completely broken it's just it's just amazing and i and i don't use the word broken that often it's just really good for cyber dragons it's just ridiculous and it can boost his attack even if it has 25 2100 hit potion again is the next one and i'm sorry for the next uh, the previous video where i said uh he was mr boy in felgren but uh hit potion again it's the one that's going to be enabling to add more attack to all your light monsters attributes so it's going to have 500 more for each one of them he's going to have 500 and the dark one's going to lose 500 and when he's destroyed by card effects or by battle by your opponent's card effects or by battle you can add one light monster directly from your graveyard to your hand next up is cyber dragon infinity of course, you're gonna run two Cyber Dragon Infinity. Cyber Dragon Infinity is the one card you have for negations. It's, well, not the one card you have for negations. It's one of the best card you have for negations. And for stealing your opponent's uh, any monster he has, so you can actually attach any monster, including your monsters, directly into the uh, like a material and negate card effects. And you have Cyber Dragon Nova. Nova basically is a climb. Uh, you just you use it to detach material, then special summon. I think it's a Cyber Dragon. And after that, you want to attach Cyber Dragon uh, Infinity directly on top of it. So basically, you get all the advantages of, of having as much materials as possible. And after you touch another material it goes all the way to 2100 cyber dragon infinity next time we have chimera fleet rampage dragon of course chimera fleet rampage dragon is going to be the one that's going to be enabling some cr enabling some crappy otk plays this is the one that actually activates one of its effects as once per turn you can actually meal at three or you know i bet two uh i think it's uh, yeah two light uh machine monsters that uh, you can send them to the graveyard and after that depending on the quantity you send to the graveyard you can attack and uh also uh this card can uh, destroy cards in the field uh, it, can, it can attack for each one of them. It can destroy cards of the field depending on the fusion materials used for the fusion summon of this fusion card. I've said fusion so many times that I just don't like saying it anymore. Next one you have Chimera F Fortress Dragon. Chimera Fortress Dragon, of course, this is going to be the one uh, you're going to be using for emergencies only. And you have Cyber Twin Dragon. Cyber Twin Dragon, of course, you know this card. You basically attack once, two, twice, twice, of course. It's really good for OTK, especially if you got Seeger. Believe me, this card is a butt saver sometimes. And uh, next up, but not least, you got Cyber Dra Cyber End Dragon. Cyber End Dragon is a classic. It's a 4,000 beater. It has a really good effect. Uh, basically, if this card is attacked, you're going to attack twice with it. And that's basically an OTK right there. And then you have the Chimera... Uh, fleet, whatever the hell, tribute mother grad. When you have a, a, a cyber dragon on the field, you can just tribute another. Uh, during in either uh, uh, field, you can just contact fuse another uh, from the extra monster zones, and you can just fusion summon them using it. So, and if a person has an extra link, you can break the extra link board by just fusion summoning this one, basically, essentially, kaijuing the person. And right now, we only run one uh, of cyber dragon eternity dragon. I mean, Cyber Dragon Eternity Dragon. Cyber, Dr Cyber Eternity. My God, so help me. I am pissed. 
basically this card you only run one of these is basically you're protecting it but he protects himself if you have a cyber dragon uh fusion in the graveyard and uh i think it's when he's destroyed you can fuse, uh, you can uh special summon other monsters on the field or something like that so uh yeah basically oh uh, yeah he brings all the materials back on the field and that's about it guys don't forget to like comment share subscribe hit that like button make that like button your bitch and uh, sorry guys that uh, I was the one making this uh, deck profile. My friend wanted to make it. He, the audio didn't come out exactly correctly. And I just like to apologize. I, I did my best. I don't know the deck correctly. But uh, I'll try my best to put the images of the cards that I do not know their effects directly into the video. And uh, don't forget to like, com like, comment, share, subscribe. And hit that like button. Make the like button your bitch. And hey, for reals guys, subscribe. And we gotta keep going with new more content. So uh, thanks for watching a lot. And I really appreciate it. Thanks guys. Peace out. Got me reaching out